Hello, my name is Alexey Arhipenko. Today I will talk about my new system called Notes Typer, which converts text into music. Notes Typer has many different modes and settings, which allow you to produce different music from the same text. The second interesting feature of Notes Typer is that it uh, does not convert text that is already written, that is already typed, but it rather converts, uh, it, it needs you to type the text, to record the text inside it, and then uses the exact timings of the key presses, the length of key presses, the velocity of keys pressed, and uh, the same keys that were, uh, and, and the keys that were pressed to uh, produce music. So it uh, uses all the information uh, that it can take from you typing the text. You know that modern computer keyboards do not allow to record the uh, velocity of key presses, but uh, Notes Type overcomes this limit by recording the audio during you typing the text and uh, then uh, and then processing the sound input level and converting it into the velocity of typing. So when you are typing with high velocity, you usually produce more noise with your keyboard and uh, uh, it allows Notes Typer to know that you are typing with high velocity. On the slide you can see the work process at the bottom and uh, uh, you can see that first you need to calibrate uh, to know the delay between the audio signal and the events from your keyboard. Then you can record the text uh, and uh, after that you can process the text uh, using many different coefficients and uh, uh, additional data to produce the MIDI uh, file uh, and uh, then you can import MIDI file into your digital audio workstation uh, and use some VST uh, sample libraries to produce high quality um, recording. Uh, I will jump directly to the demos and uh, here are several demos. Here is another demo. And another one. One more demo. Here is the main site of the system and uh, also you can download your own copy from SourceForge and uh, only, only if you want to run your own server of course. Uh, you can work on this server and uh, record text here and uh, uh, process it, convert into music and download MIDI files. So who can be interested in this project? Uh, at first, of course, researchers who can experiment with converting text to music and explore fundamental relations between text, music, and also maybe uh, explore some uh, ways to apply uh, some theories like serial music or is a melody to 
um, some information not directly related to music like text typing. Also music musicians can use virtual keyboard with touch sensitivity which is uh, I think I think no virtual keyboards today on the internet can uh, process any velocity of key presses. Um, so this can be interesting if you, for example, do not have a MIDI keyboard at hand, but you have to record something. So you can use this. And uh, of course, music composers who can compose new music with this algorithmic approach. Uh, and uh, also they can use some improvisation. And text authors uh, who can listen and share how their text uh, can sound. Or they just can create uh, some additional um, video footage for their text. The simplest way to use it is uh, first to calibrate, then record and process. So I will just go through these steps. Uh, the first is calibration. Uh, you need to follow all the instructions on the screen because uh, this process is not uh, very simple, I think, for browser and uh, some uh, older computers can have some uh, problems. And if you see some errors and some uh, additional instructions uh, that will be shown in this window, you should follow them. Uh, first, for calibrating, you just need to repeat uh, pressing uh, one key loud and uh, just uh, not press uh, too fast, uh, not, not faster than once per second. So I will just do that. And you see that system tells me that my key press is too quiet, so I have to uh, press harder or bring microphone closer to keyboard or just use the uh, uh, microphone inside notebook uh, and maybe increase the sensitivity of the notebook in the settings control panel but uh, I would just type louder currently Okay, so the test is completed, no more errors, and uh, uh, the recommended delay is 50 milliseconds, and I can go uh, right here with the recommended delay, or I can go to the record uh, link, and uh, there uh, I can see that the default delay is 100 milliseconds, and I can set it to 50 milliseconds. Uh, the only thing to remember is that every time you open this page, you just... Uh, have to uh, set uh, the delay that you need and every time you change computer or change browser uh, you're recommended to recalibrate because different computers and different browsers can have uh, different recommended delays. <clears throat> okay, you, you can just save this link and uh, go here for recording. So now we can record some text. Uh, recording doesn't start until you type the first key and uh, for example, the recording will be something like this. I will type some short and long letters and uh, some uh, loud and uh, quiet letters, okay? Okay, this is enough. Test recording, I name this. <clears throat> and you can see that something has recorded here. Here is the, uh, the code, uh, some special code that is used in system. Uh, you can just check that something, something worked. And you can back up to file. <clears throat> so you just do not um, lose it in um, 
in case of some problems with uh, connections to server or something else. And also you can see that here is the level, microphone level, and uh, if it doesn't appear here, then you uh, probably have some problem with uh, working with the microphone. Maybe you didn't uh, enable the uh, default microphone in your system, or maybe the sensitivity is too low. Uh, also, you're recommended to record in a quiet room so that the quiet key presses will be recorded quietly because uh, if you uh, record in uh, um, in some noisy room, then uh, you will have all key presses loud um, because uh, the sound recorded will be loud. And also you can control the loudness of key presses with uh, just your voice or some other noise. For example, if you do not want to control it with uh, the key press themselves. Okay, <clears throat> so now we save this to database. It goes to database and uh, <clears throat> right after that, you get to the page where you see a lot of coefficients, a lot of parameters that you can set, that you can tune to get different results, different music results. Uh, but also you can go to the recordings pane and uh, you will see here um, all the recordings that were made in the system by all the uh, all the users that worked here uh, and uh, also our recording is here um, one more way to process this is to type uh, is, to, is to click on the recording and to select any uh, any any combination of parameters that was previously used to process any other recording. So you can use one combination of parameters to process different recordings, okay. Uh, so just for purpose of this uh, simple demo, I will process uh, this track with some default coefficients, default parameters, um, and uh, just press send. These are fast letters, and these are long. And also these letters overlap. I was not depressing these letters for a long time, you see. So you can see that these notes were quiet and these are loud, yeah, okay. And oh, by the way, you can also see that quiet notes are longer. It's this interesting result, just because when I was hitting keyboard hard, I was just hitting uh, keys shortly, okay. So this was the, the default, this were, these were the default settings and uh, you can always change your settings and the process again and again and save all the results. If you want uh, uh, saving coefficients to database, stop playing, if you want, uh, and so on, okay. Here is a, lo a lot of debugging information. I will go through them in previous, uh, in, in the next uh, videos. One more interesting thing about this recording is that uh, I mistaked once and uh, I put some wrong key here. And uh, by the way, we can find this key uh, in the debugging section. Here is the wrong key. So I was, I tried to put it long, but I typed L and then I typed backspace. Um, and uh, in the resulting uh, piano roll, you do not see just uh, L and you can see that N was pressed almost exactly after the O and this is because the mistake with the backspace was just cut out of the recording because this is the default setting. Uh, you can see it here, cut out of the backspaces, keys that were removed with backspace. Uh, this is very, uh, very handy because you do not need to always think, I just uh, do, I, I just have to type without mistakes, I have to type without mistakes. And you can easily make any mistakes and uh, even 
you can type uh, whole wrong words uh, and just one thing you need to do is then press backspace number times number of times you need and uh, then all the wrong keys and uh, all the backspace will just disappear in the final recording if you leave these settings without changes. Uh, the thing that I do not recommend doing, although the arrow keys and uh, uh, <clears throat> home and page up, page down, insert, delete keys, although all they can produce sound, I do not recommend to use them for recording because uh, just changing something in between inside the text uh, can lead to unexpected behavior. For example, uh, the cursor, you, you can see that when you play back uh, the recording, the cursor is moving with the recording and uh, if you change something inside, then cursor can move uh, wrongly. <coughs> okay, now now, the other recommendation is not to click with mouse inside the text because also when you click or uh, change something inside it, then it can change the resulting text. So the best way is to type and sometimes uh, watch what you type and just delete the mistakes with backspaces. And you can delete almost the whole line with backspace, but do not use home, select, uh, uh, shift uh, arrows, arrows and so on. This is all for today. In the next videos I will talk about the uh, parameters and the algorithms that are used uh, in, uh, the, in, in, in the system and also you can see the um, uh, tutorial that is accessible from the main page and in this tutorial there are a lot of uh, drawings, a lot of examples and demos of the system and uh, also some troubleshooting in the end. So, uh, thank you for watching and you can find the next videos in this playlist.